Hey, guess whaters, guess what? Today, we're going to learn all about Mardi Gras. And the history of Mardi Gras can actually be tracked all the way back to the Middle Ages. People would eat a lot of fatty foods the night before they began fasting on Ash Wednesday. Did you know that the actual name Mardi Gras translates to Fat Tuesday? Makes sense, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> yeah, it does. That's right, Gus. It translates to Fat Tuesday in French. And this is because the celebration happens on the Tuesday before Ash Wednesday which is the first day of Lent. And another name is Pancake Day. Oh, there it is. This name comes from England, where it was a popular tradition to use all the eggs, milk, and butter they had before Ash Wednesday. And these few ingredients are usually used to make pancakes, which kind of makes sense when you think about it, why this day is also called Pancake Day. The day Mardi Gras takes place can change. That's a good point, Quinn. Mardi Gras can actually happen any time between February 3rd through March 9th, but this all really depends on when Easter falls that year. Mardi Gras celebrations can last for many days, and in some countries, this time is called Carnival. Mardi Gras is celebrated with parades, masquerade parties, and more. It is the last day of Carnival. Carnival is a public festival in many cities and towns all around the world. And a very, very well-known and famous carnival happens in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. People dress up in bright and elaborate looking costumes. And the parades also have colorful displays as well as marching bands. And during the parade, people on the parade floats throw things into the crowd who are watching and celebrating Mardi Gras. And these are usually strings of very colorful beads. Another very popular Mardi Gras celebration is in New Orleans, Louisiana. Mardi Gras was introduced on March 2nd in 1699 when French Canadian explorer Jean Baptiste Le Moyne Sierre de Benval landed a little bit south of what is now. New Orleans. Because it was the night before Mardi Gras, he named where he landed Point du Mardi Gras. And the first Mardi Gras was celebrated in 1703 at Fort Louis de la Mobile. Next, during the 1730s, Mardi Gras gained more popularity in New Orleans. And in the beginning, it was celebrated with a large dance known as a ball. Then, in 1837, New Orleans began celebrating Fat Tuesday with parades. And the first parade floats began in 1857, but the throwing of beads and items started around 1870. In 1875, Mardi Gras became an official holiday in the state of Louisiana. And there are also many popular symbols that represent Mardi Gras. In New Orleans, social clubs called Crews organize Mardi Gras parades and balls. And each will pick a king, queen, and court made from the families of the crew's members. Another popular symbol is a king cake. This is a, wait, am I reading this right? This is a sugary dessert that has a plastic baby that has been baked inside. Ugh, it's like a gigantic doll? Hope not. 
Well, Gus, I don't think the baby inside the cake is that big, because tradition states that the person who finds the piece of cake with the baby inside will actually have good luck and success. Mardi Gras bead necklaces are often made with the official Mardi Gras colors of gold, purple, and green. The color gold represents power. The color purple represents justice, and the color green represents faith. You will also find many people wearing masks with these three colors as well. And hey, guess what? Did you know it is illegal to ride on a Mardi Gras float in New Orleans if you're not wearing a mask? And this law was made to let people associate and mingle with anyone and everyone they wanted to without any social limitations. Well, hey, guess what? Now we all know about Mardi Gras, or otherwise known as Fat Tuesday. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. Bye! Bye.